Hello YouTube, this is Darkon633. We're taking a look at another Star Wars Blade Builders basic lightsaber review. This time we're going to take a look at Kanan Jarrus' lightsaber, based on the lightsaber used by Kanan Jarrus in Star Wars Rebels. Now you probably noticed in the background I actually have a brand new poster, and that's the poster that was given out during this year's Force Friday, or Rogue Friday as some people call it, at Toys R Us. And unfortunately the poster is kind of a lower quality compared to the one we got during Force Awakens, since it's actually made of a much cheaper material, and it's not so much as the cardboard-like material as seen with the previous poster. It does look really nice, and I think they did a nice job just by look-wise, but quality I wish it was a little better. Anyways, unfortunately, this lightsaber cannot split into the two parts like the lightsaber used by Kenny Jarvis on the show, but at least it's nice to finally have a hilt based on the lightsaber used by the character. Now, this one doesn't light up, obviously, since it is the basic design. But I'm just happy to finally get a hold of it since I actually did not get the electronic version when it was released during the first year of Rebels. Because back then I just didn't really care for lightsabers as much since I only had a few lightsabers and I wasn't really too much of care for them at the time. Now, I think there's really nice that they made a ton of different lightsabers, especially in the Blade Builder design, able to connect with other sabers. So anyways, here is the lightsaber more closely. This is where the blade comes out, obviously, and the bottom does have the normal port to put in the Blade Builder's adapter. It does extend to the standard 22 inches or so, roughly, so that's really nice. But now, we'll actually be back to have a look at the saber connect with other sabers now that we've got the chain set up, we will now combine Kim and Jarvis' lightsabers. First, we're going to extend it, and here, we're going to attach the Episode 3 Anakin lightsaber together. So now, here's how it looks like fully extended, both of them. Even with this setup, it's still hard to get on frame, but it is still cool that you can go with so many combinations with using the Blade Builder system. So now we're going to quickly collapse that blade and look at it with a very similar color lightsaber, the Obi-Wan lightsaber. Now we got that attached, and here's how it looks like with the Obi-Wan saber attached. One side obviously lights up, but the other doesn't. So, next we're going to remove the attachment and take a look at it with Luke's lightsaber. Now it doesn't matter what color you attach it, but it's, in my opinion, better if you're going to choose the correct colored lightsaber attached there. So. Here is Luke's episode 4 lightsaber. Well, sorry, episode 6. Saber. Here is how it looks like combined. So that's pretty cool. Next, we're going to detach that blade and go straight with the three Sith lightsaber attachments. So, first, we're going to touch that, connect the red adapter. We're going to quickly Use Kylo Ren's extendable lightsaber attached. And here's how it looks like. Once again, it just doesn't really make much sense because this cross blade is already kind of unconventional to begin with. So with this, you have a better chance of actually getting yourself slashed in the process. So it's not a very conventional combination. Next, we're going to attach Darth Vader's extendable lightsaber. See how that looks. That's cool. And then we're just going to attach the blade dagger. And this one's a little easier to get on camera because it's a lot shorter. So that pretty much covers up the combinations for the blade. And now I'm going to go and move on to my final thoughts. So that finishes my review for the Kanan basic Blade Builder's lightsaber. This is a really nice lightsaber for fans of the character from Star Wars Rebels, and it's a really nice display piece, especially if you really like the design of Kanan's hilt. Obviously, it still can't detach, but it's pretty screen accurate otherwise, outside of the obvious hole at the bottom and the blade being a little shorter than it's supposed to be. But it's really nice to actually get a hold of the saber in hand, finally. Hopefully, they will release an electronic version of this lightsaber, along with Ezra's lightsaber in the line, since it'll be really nice to get them side by side in order to play around with and maybe do some attachments as well. This is something I still really enjoy about the Blade Builder design and 
it adds a lot of playability to each individual lightsaber when you start connecting them and just play around with them. So I highly recommend picking this up. I got this at Target for around $10. I think it's a really nice price for a $10 lightsaber. And I think out of the basic lightsabers in general, I think this one I have the most enjoyment of since it is still a really nice design lightsaber. And it's nice to actually get a lightsaber based on a character in the cartoon series rather than just being in the movies up to this point. So I highly recommend picking this up. Anyways, please comment, subscribe, and check out Hero Club and the other channels down below. Don't forget to check me on Twitter under darkon633 and... I'll be back with more Star Wars reviews, but for now, I'll be seeing you in YouTube. Bye.